takes an enormous amount of energy, and he did it every day. I was asking someone what Freud would have thought of the 20th century, and she said there's one thing Freud could not have foreseen, Walt Disney, making everything cute, everything nice. When I wrote something about Dukowski to try to justify why I was publishing him, I said he is devoted to the de disnification of all of us. Someone has to kick the Mickey Mouse out of our heads. He despised Mickey Mouse, especially his hands. I think he has three fingers. He could not handle the fact that the power uh, over multi-millions of human beings was in the hands of this three-fingered foolish creature that taught you nothing whatsoever, that expressed nothing real, total absurd fucking fantasy, not even good, not even creative. He was appalled by Mickey Mouse. And I said, well, what about Walt Disney? He, he was a crazy sort of a guy. He was eccentric. He was a genius. He was amazing. He was a visionary. He had all of these ideas. And he said, yeah, but for what? Uh, well, I said, to expand the uh, imaginations and fantasies of little children. Yeah, to this three-fingered son of a bitch who has no soul, for Christ's sake. Mickey Mouse doesn't have a fucking soul. While reading your book, Women, one could yeah. get the impression that uh, for you, a woman is nothing more than a behind and a pair of tits. Oh, come on. You read it and that's all you got? You didn't even get the part where I, I cried in bed because tears came to my face because I, I invited two women to have Thanksgiving with me and I didn't know which one to go to. I mean, no, there are many moments in there where I look like a complete asshole and I felt like one. No, no, I, I was just, I just wasn't jumping into bed and fucking and jumping out of bed. I'm sorry. It would be nice for me to say that and pretend I'm the tough mm. guy, but I'm not that tough. But uh, in your stories, love is always a synonym for sexual intercourse. Where do you That's get not too romantic, Where do you get it? this crap, baby? Love is a dog from hell. That's all. It has mm -hmm. its own agonies. It brings its own agonies with it. But I mean, I don't know where you get your concepts from, man. You're really fucked up. You know, I remember that there was a moment where he and I talked about it in the sense that accusations of misogyny. And he said really simply, you know, everybody who's read it knows that on a percentage basis, I, I treat men worse every time, <laughs> you know, in, in, uh, and, and in essence, he does because so, so much is autobiographical and it's about making mistakes in a messy world. 